Hello. Welcome to Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus. I'm Jake, the Dungeon Master for this adventure. And for many, many more sessions to go, we're, I feel like we're about halfway through the book now. Actually, maybe less. I spoke too soon, a little bit too soon. Not quite halfway. Uh, but previously, we let's do a little recap. Slow. What's that? We are very slow. We, uh, yeah. We like to clearly play two hours for no reason. Pyramids, yeah. Also, speed bumps, indeed. Uh, before we get started, let me do a quick half hearted recap. Uh, on our way to find the Sword of Zeriel and replenish the memories or restore the memories of one Hollyfant Lulu, uh, we've had some, some missions to go on. And one of them was to go to the Demon Zapper, uh, where the group found a Dao who had made a deal with Zeriel and wanted to break it and requested help from the group and sent them to the Bone Brambles to seek Bone Brambles to seek out Red Ruth, who is a oracle of a kind, who the Dow said could help figure out a way to break the deal they had made with Zeriel. And the Bone Brambles turned out to be quite a nasty place where there were dead dryads who attacked the group. It's a maze-like forest. Uh, so some ghostly dryads attacked the group, repeatedly knocked people to zero hit points, unconscious, and uh, but eventually were stricken down with great, with great power and great righteousness. We ha oh, yeah, we do have one righteous person in the group now. Um, and then they fought some shambling mounds. And then they made their way to the center of the maze and came upon a cave-like hovel with uh, covered in hundreds of bones and body parts uh, and uh, has a nice garland on the entrance made of bloody entrails. That's where we left off. So guys, you're just outside the hovel. Hey, uh, Rollercoaster, you still got that stone I gave you earlier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want it back? Yeah. Don't do it, Rollercoaster. Well, hang on to it. just smarter. a heads up, me having this stone is the only reason we're probably all still alive. But here you go. I mean, it, it, if you want me to use to do that thing where I make you feel stronger, I need it. But if you want to hold on to it, go for it. Uh, you can have it back. Can you make me one? Uh, no. Oh. Here, just just hold on to it. Just hold on to it. All right. It's... Holding on. To it. Is that oh. literally the case that because you passed a a, uh, a saving throw with the whale by only a couple, right? And that's by covers... one in yeah. a cover. Yeah, and that, that's what saved me. Yeah, I guess it 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 makes sense for out of game. It makes sense for a healer to hold on to that. So I'll let it go for a little bit. <laughs> Until we're out of this <laughs> hellhole of a bramble. Yeah, pit. yeah. I, I, I want to stay alive, and I I want to stay alive, and I feel like that's uh, kind of key in that puzzle. So you can like a guilt you can hold on to it. <laughs> Jarvis, I agree. I would also like to stay alive as I go ahead and pump some cure wounds uh, on myself. It might be a couple. They're going to be level one. I'm going to go ahead and roll those for myself. Someone running out of spell slots? Nope. No. <laughs> Not my level ones. <laughs> I have so many. I'm, I'm, all, I got I'm all the opposite direction. <laughs> I've only got two third level <laughs> slots left. So, Aren't you? I thought you were uh, a warlock now. Don't I'm they just only, have unlimited no, only, uh, only this, blast? Oh, okay. Only this much warlock. I'm while, much more art. <laughs> while, he's, while he's still alive. It has been a game and a half. Like I said, this guy is way more survivable. <laughs> it's handy. This is, this is a second longest lived character. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Is, will it he make it, it as a long, long as time. Pyrus? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm almost at full health. You, you jabronis look. I mean, weren't we Jerry talking? Look, Jerry looks weren't okay. we talking this morning or this afternoon about the possible chance of you coming up with this crazy plan where it doesn't go over well? <laughs> 
No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Anyway, Red Roof is going to be right inside here, I'm pretty sure. It looks ominous. Is there a just... door to this hovel? Or is it, like, open? It's an open, dark... You can't see inside because it's too dark. Does anybody want to go first? Because I don't. I'll go I mean, first. You guys not dark. calling out or anything? Let's get on with it. Get a, how far away are we from the hovel? Like 30 feet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm assuming she could hear us no. yesing out here. But he... Yeah, but we're not talking to her. Let's, let's, let's see if she's home. Red Ruth, Red Ruth, come out and talk to us. Guys, what? and walk? yes, I do do it just as cartoony as that. Can you what? guys walk a little slower when you guys walk? Thanks. Oh, she sounds friendly. Who the hell is out there? Uh, we just woke her up. Ruth, Are you not... guys messing with my bloody entrail garland? N no, not at all. Not. Why would I'll we be mess right with out? You gotta come up with a better, uh, better name for that. She sounds and... lovely. Walking out of the hovel is a older woman wearing a dress made from stitched together bones. And there are strings of infant skulls hanging around her neck. And the closer she gets, you start to hear some nursery rhymes coming out of the infant skulls. Uh, and they're just chattering and laughing to each other as they repeat rather dark nursery rhymes <laughs> someone name someone name a nursery rhyme that i know roller coaster tail ring is, around uh, the, the hovel the screen. ring uh. around the hovel <laughs> go up the bloody spout I, down came the poo and washed your souls out jerry's just like <laughs> cringing uh, I feel like I should roll. One. I should see like that. Could just be straight up like ring psychotic. around the rosy. It's like a lot of <laughs> right. That's a pretty dark one already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to change ring around the rosy for it to be evil. <laughs> and then bridges falling down. That was that was yeah. Uh, I guess it would be itsy bitsy spider. It, it was ring around the rosy with the tune of itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. What about row 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 your boat? There you go. Row, row, row your boat <laughs> down the river sticks. I forgot the rest of it. Merrily, merrily, merrily. merrily. I, I get them confused. <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. Everyone's fucking dead. <laughs> it just goes on like that, and they're laughing, and it's pretty hard to focus on her voice with these. Surprised you're not making us roll for psychological damage would you like to no no, no i have disadvantage okay. on those <laughs> uh and she goes how can i help you well uh ruth uh i'm ollie and uh we are you familiar with R ralzala it's a uh, dow hangs out over by the demon zapper no not really did she they send you here uh, sort of. See, they got themselves in quite a predicament. Uh, they made a deal with Zeriel. Apparently it wasn't a very good deal, and they're a bit bound to the demon zapper. Uh, she said that, they said that uh, you w might have a way of breaking that oath that was made. I certainly can find out. I, are you interested in anything else? Any any other potions I have? Or is it just the answer you seek? You make what, potions. What kind of potions you got? What kind of potions you got? Well, I have a potion that costs one soul coin, and I have a potion that costs two soul coins, and I have a potion that costs three soul coins, which will... Allow God, you. That's the end of the list. <laughs> which will allow you to <laughs> seek answers, or you can, if you're seeking the answers for this Dao, I have a request of you that will require just one soul coin and an errand. 
We ah. pay you to, do, to run an errand for Another you? Another side mission. Incorrect. <laughs> Here's what I need. I'm starting to smell a little bit. I haven't had a bath in a few centuries. Have you heard of the Wandering Emporium? No. No? The Wandering Emporium is run by Mahadi. And Mahadi has a a place that will allow me to bathe and relax and get some spa services. But I need someone to go there and arrange my appointment. Wow. And I would hope... What are the odds that we would show up on the day after centuries of her not having a bath and then she asked us to do it? God, I saw it odds. coming. I saw it coming, young half-orc. I see all... Ooh, we, and then the bean squad huddles up. It's <laughs> like, uh, this seems like a really easy side mission. I think we should we should do this. We maybe should. Yeah, negotiate so did coming. Her. So did coming down here and finding her for the other guy. We almost died twice. And she uh. speaks up while you're in the huddle. Oh, and then I will need you to watch over my hovel while I'm gone getting a bath. Ugh. Oh, that's. Sounds... I mean. It's really nice. I'm sure it's Thank pleasant. you. How does one find the wandering Oh, Orion? do you have a... I can tell you where it is, or if you have a map, I can show you. Uh, uh, yeah, we got a map. Someone pulled it up. Before. Oh, you have a map, do you? Why not both? I believe Jarvis had a map. Well, yeah. hand it over. Jarvis hands over the map. I'm going to screen share now. <laughs> oh, the technology in this uh Don't place mind is me. Amazing. <laughs> These words. These are night hag words. It's devil magic. Okay. Annotate. Okay, you guys were at yeah. the demon zapper, you remember that is? Mm -hmm. And then you came to the Bone Brambles, which is here. Gotcha. And she tells you, The Wandering Emporium is right about here now. It should be set up right there. Oh, that seems uh, doable. It's a cool five, 520 miles. I don't know. Oh, one day. They have many other things there that you may want or need as well. They have shops and stores and... Uh, is that your infernal machine outside? Outside the brambles? It is. Yes, it is. They do have someone who can fix those machines, restore How its lost properties. How do you know it needs fixing? How did you? How did I know it was out there? That is a good question. <laughs> are are they going to want like a down payment to make an appointment? Yes, it will cost one soul coin. Are we supposed to front that, or are you going to give us the soul coin to give to them? Let's say you front it, and then if you watch my hovel, I will give you the soul coin once I come back from my spa trip. Here's the but thing: uh, we don't have a soul coin to front for you. You just want to roll deception. Go ahead. I've been trying. Thanks. 23. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I believe hers is... She got a 17. She goes... Well... I guess I can give you a soul coin... Here you go. And she reaches into her bodice made of bones, her bones bodice, and pulls out a soul coin and tosses it to Jerry. And this is for the half orc to take care of. There is another thing. Uh, I just want to make sure, as long as we're not to interrupt you, Jarvis, but as long as we're still on the matter of price, are, you, are we sure that they haven't raised the prices at the spa? I mean, it's always possible, right? 
Mahadi keeps his pri- prices about the same. I am 120% sure <laughs> that he hasn't raised them. Oh, just wanted to make sure. Sorry, Jarvis, continue. So, please. well, now I also have another question in addition to another question. So, first question, if you knew our machine was out there and that it needed fixing, how come you can't just contact this person yourself? I have things that allow me to watch over my brambles. I do not have these things to outside of my brambles. Ah, and the uh, the other the other point I wanted to point out is, so we're going to be going to this location for you, but we're going to need some we're going to need a soul coin to to power our our vehicular. It is not my concern. If you would like to. Possibly barter for another soul coin. Do you have anything of interest, like the brains of a serial killer, or possibly the reproductive organs of a matricidal maniac? <laughs> what is with these characters wanting these crazy things? <laughs> I will not give you my genitals. <laughs> You're a matricidal <laughs> maniac. I've been called many things. It is hell, sir. I've got I'm an here. extra bed roll. <laughs> you sleeping? Ah, I see we found the, the Joker of the group. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Do you like? <laughs> do you like pyramids? Uh, I am indifferent towards pyramids. Why do you ask? Would you like a pyramid? Not particularly. I'm rather fond of... Don't you, don't you think a pyramid right <laughs> here would look beautiful? She no. likes cubes. Say, do you know Mad Maggie? I know of Mad Maggie. Us night hags know each other. I also only know of her. What do you think of her? She's quite ambitious. She likes her infernal machines. She's kind of crazy. Mad one might say. I always thought that was rather mean, that moniker. Yours is much more appropriate. I mean, red. It's your it color. is my favorite color. It suits and you. flavor. Mm. <laughs> well, do we have an accord? Oh, well, payment's been made. I believe we do. It, no, do you really? have a quick way out? Oh, yes. Safe? And she tells you, uh, which she tells you in a series, go left, right up there, and then hang a right, and then go straight, and then you'll want to take the second left, and then uh, backtrack one, uh, one half yard, and then turn around 180 degrees and go right. And then at this point, you'll want to sidestep for about 100 yards, and then it just keeps going on like that. But you get... You I get, was actually typing it out until my cat typing. leaned on my keyboard. I got and it. I got, I got, the, the, I got the whole thing. After, and, and after, I, after oh, that I song, that. after after we were, I was trying to sing that song a long time ago, started writing those kind of things down. No, no. Oh, man. No, song of no suck sack in this, in this direction. <laughs> exactly. now do we have down the, sh- the shortcut that you claim do we have short passage or safe passage through it uh, yes if you follow my directions you will okay and are you expecting them to come to you or are you going to go to them oh when you come back and let me know my appointment is set uh Follow my directions through the brambles in reverse, of course. And confirm with me that you have made it. And then I shall leave and you shall watch over my hovel. And then I shall return and I shall give you the answer you seek, which I already have. Beautiful. Is your hovel like regularly accosted? Are we ex- like, should we be ready for a skirmish? Um... 
Most of the dryads keep away. Okay. I can't remember the last time they tried to attack me. I don't remember. Uh, maybe like 50, 50 seasons ago. What are the seasons like down here? That's what I was just about to mention. That's a very <laughs> relative time. As I refer to seasons uh, because I'm from originally from the Feywild. And, uh, I was going to ask what's winter like in hell, but never mind. Well, it's a few degrees cooler. Well, that's something. Uh, all right. Anything else? No, I think we'll be on our way. And the infant skulls are going, patty cake, patty cake, <laughs> baker's man, kill the baker and eat his insides. Just keeps going on like that. As we're strolling Such away a lovely the necklace. Bramble, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you think she harvested those skulls herself? I wouldn't put it past her. Have you seen any children about? There's probably some in the city. Yeah, there were some in that... Uh, well, never mind. That wasn't in Avernus. Lulu speaks up and goes, Oh, I was so scared, guys. Oh, Lulu, was, forgot you were here. Look what you've done, Ollie. <laughs> I was so scared. It's all right, it's all right Lulu. We're in hell. Every, everything's going to be scary. I'm a hottie name sounds familiar though I'm anxious to see if my memories come back when we meet him hopefully and hopefully he doesn't want to kill you for some weird reason we're in hell hopefully he doesn't have a job for us did we know when she wanted to make the appointment for as soon as possible uh, yeah I'm assuming ASAP yeah I can tell you when I want to make the appointment for and that's as soon as possible God, I wish it I had did smell right now. quite bad. How many uh, soul coins did we agree for payment from the other guy to do this? Three. Three. Sir. Three. Okay. Well, back to the car. All right. So make it back to the cart. Everything's in one piece, and you head out and. Uh, as you approach, it takes you about a half day uh, to get there. And in the distance, rising over, as you're coming over a, a hill, uh, down in a valley, you see a collection of brightly colored tent stands clustered together, creating, creating an oasis of comfort amid the dread landscape of Avernus. Huge infernal war machines form a horseshoe ab about the tents, with curtains made of small rectangular iron plates and lamps dangling from chains strung between them. Soft, lilting music as you get closer, and wondrous smells drift across the hot winds, inviting a closer look. Oh, it smells so good. Looks like this is near the them. place. Second it genuinely smells thing. good. Yeah, let's head in. Blah, 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 blah. I wish okay. I had a soul coin for a bath. And standing at the front greeting people as they come in is, let me pull up the picture of, it should be in the pinned reference material. The man that Brian called Roz, this is what you see as you enter, a, a dark-skinned man the smile and salt and pepper beard with fine linens about his this person. This is how I envision you in, in a fantasy setting, Roz. Just so you Interesting. Know, I, I now have art. <laughs> Go with it. Good to know. And uh, he, he greets you, looks at all of you, and then behind you he sees... Lulu and his disposition changes a little and he kind of goes from smiling to oh may I help you Lulu and Lulu goes Mahadi 
And he goes, Yes. Are you okay? And she goes, Well, I did lose my memories. And, you know, I've been trying to recover them. And his disposition changes to, Oh, well, I'm happy you're here. And uh, you've brought friends. Welcome, welcome to the Wandering Emporium. I'm Mahadi. I will be helping you in any way I can. Of course, nothing is free, especially in hell. But nevertheless, there's no reason not to try and help with a smile. So what can I do for you? Perhaps you would like a chance to dine in my restaurant, Infernal Rapture? I whip my bicock it off and bow to him and say, <laughs> Great Mahadi! Unfortunately, we are not here for ourselves. Uh, not entirely. We are actually here to make an arrangement for your baths. Not for us. Oh, yes, at Infernal Rapture. Yes. It's a restaurant and, and a, a spa. Bathhouse. Yes. What a fascinating combination. Please tell me you keep them separate. Uh, they are quite separate, and in fact, it's a demi-plane, so they're regularly cleaned out by strictly disintegrating them into nothingness and non-existence. So there's no cross-contamination of any rooms or areas. Well, I'm satisfied. That's and genius. the woman it's for is covered in blood, so you're going to need to make sure that that gets cleaned. Oh, that's not a problem. We've seen worse. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Red Ruth, I believe she's uh, come here before. She would like an appointment. Oh, yes. It's probably been a few 50 centuries. Seasons, yeah, I understand. 50 seasons, maybe. Well, I feel like there's <laughs> more. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, so she would like a bath. That comes with, it's the standard price for a meal which is one soul coin, and a bath comes with the meal if you desire it. Anything above that, such as uh, any restorative healing that needs to be done is extra, of course, and any anything with feet is extra. Well, I think she Understood. just wanted the standard deal. In fact, she did just say that she wanted a bath. Uh is it possible that she could get the bath and we could get the meal to go? I don't see why not. I think that sounds best, You boys, do gentlemen. have payment, don't you? Well, of course we have payment. Jerry, pay the man. So, one soul coin? Yes, please. All right, here you go. And before you enter the Infernal Rapture, there's an agreement we must come to, uh... This is to protect both you and me, and out of thin air appears this contract. It's rather short compared to the ones you've seen before, uh, but it is required by all th those who enter. And uh, it basically states if you do not pay your tab, your soul is forfeit. Straight up. To be clear, there are five of us. We are sharing one meal. Everyone's okay with the sample, right, boys? Yes? By signing this, are we saying that we owe five soul coins? Oh, no. Uh, it's just you. we would only, if, you, if we provided more than one meal, of course, that would require oh, more okay. soul coins. Just making uh, sure. Reading the fine print, as it were. Of course. And please one do read the fine soul. print if you'd like. Is the there fine, fine print? print? <laughs> <laughs> no, question, uh, not that you can excellent. see. Question out of game. Um, would I know, or would Jarvis know, if I were to cast Detect Thoughts and I failed my check, would the person know that I cast it? Uh, they know someone cast something. Uh, if it works better, it's possible that they would know. Okay. Do you want the rules? I can tell you. Hello, yeah, rules. please tell me. I had to know because I had a someone sword. in my party who loved to cast detect thoughts. Uh, <laughs> it was Jake, guys. Jake. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can read surface thoughts and they don't necessarily know. I mean, they might see you casting a spell, for example, if that's required. Um, but they don't necessarily detect you 
doing the surface thoughts, if you choose to probe deeper and force them to make the save, at that point, if they fail, if yeah, if they pass the save, then they know that you did that. They they feel the probe. They don't feel the surface thoughts. Can we incept them? So they would see me. They would see me doing the verbal and somatic, they would, they, but they don't know. They like they feel nothing if I fail. If it fails, or succeeds. Essentially, they might just know that you're casting a spell and feel like it's shady. It's up yeah. to you. Jarvis. Yeah, I'm actually. I'm going. To, <laughs> I'm going to cast the tech thoughts as he's showing us this uh, contract. Okay, <laughs> on Mahadi. Yeah. And what level? Uh, it is a. I think it's a second level divination. Yes. Okay. It fails. Okay. Even you don't even have to roll a DC thirteen for nope. that. Oh, that's sad. Nope. Wow, this guy's powerful. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And when you cast it, he kind of winks at you, and then <laughs> uh, goes about his business. So, uh, if all of you would sign on the dotted line, I'll show you into infernal rapture. Ah, uh, easiest meal I ever got. I'll address. I sign. Okay. All right, sign it. Everyone sign in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lulu uh, grabs the uh, the pen with her trunk and signs over all your names with just L-U-L-U. It's giant letters. <laughs> and uh, uh, Mahadi is, like, kind of weirded out by her and goes, So, Lulu, how, how have you been? Tell me, you lost your memory. What do you remember? And she kind of goes over it, and she's like, I feel like I was here, and you were very nice to me, I remember. And he goes, ah, yes, of course. I'm nice to everyone, Lulu. And uh, she goes, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember some other stuff. And she tells uh, him what she remembers. But I don't. Re I feel like there's more I should remember. Anyways... We're trying to figure it out, and my friends here are being really helpful with that, and we're going to try and, you know, we're going to try and find Zeriel's sword. And his eyes perk up, and he goes, oh, interesting, interesting. Oh, maybe we'll have to talk about that later. Let me show you to Infernal Rapture. And so he leads you through the middle of the this Emporium, and there's shops around uh there's six shops you can choose from uh and you can find just about anything here uh if you want to do other shopping after you eat let me know i can describe i will describe anyways once you guys are leaving but um just let me know if you are looking for anything anyways yes. he leads you through the middle and uh you enter a large cart which has a a uh, beautiful curtain in front of it. And he pulls aside the curtain, and inside, looking through, you see the most beautiful Mediterranean setting, the most just the, the complete op opposite of what you've seen on Avernus. Uh, and you don't smell anything, you don't hear anything, you just see beautiful greenery and you see some people standing around talking and uh he waves you in well i'll be i removed my by cocket again tucking into my pants <laughs> and as you enter you <laughs> the smell of avernus the first thing you notice is a smell of avernus that you have grown quite used to it was very pungent when you first arrived is gone and wonderful smells about 10 times as nice, 100 times as nice as what you were smelling out in the Emporium uh, just as you entered. Uh, hits your nose and uh, the air distinctly changes from a hot, humid to a comfortable 72 degrees. And... Roller coast just starts purring. Yep. Like it's deep. Holly too. Yep. Take a deep <laughs> breath in, purring. Guys, how many soul coins do we have? 
Does it seem think... does it seem familiar to when I cast Tiny Hut? The same kind um, of effect. No, but if you'd like to make uh, Arcana. Arcana check, yeah. I think we're gonna have 11. to come back here after we get paid. Eleven. You don't think it's like that. Um, you definitely think there's some planar stuff going on. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so heading inside, he leads you to a, another uh, room with another curtain. And inside, uh, upon entering this little side room, uh, it's a private chamber. There are lounge pillows, cut cushions and divans i've never heard that word i assume it's another type of cushion as they um and there's extravagant dishes already placed out ready for you to eat and uh a menu as well um and mahati goes this is just a sample of the menu uh, the menu is right there if you would like anything else let me know again if you order anything above the one standard meal, it will be another soul coin. If you do not pay, it will be your soul. Well, I throw myself on a divan, which is essentially a fancy chaise lounge. Oh. Why wouldn't they call it a ch ch whatever? Because it's not. It's slightly different. Okay. Um, but it's close enough. Very luxurious, though. I throw myself on one and again just roll up and start purring as I just roll on it. Yeah, and it's oh, there's nothing it's... sinister or remotely bad about it like you've experienced in the rest of hell where everything, anything remotely good was soured by something horrible. Uh, and Mahadi bows and takes his leave and I will add the menu to our pinned reference material i'm doing the full cat stretch paw dancing hey 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 ollie share, share the couch <laughs> come on man begrudgingly <laughs> <laughs> all right uh that's not it why am i taking that away Alright, that can go away. Rapture, there we go. Jesus, Jake. Now take a gander at this. Take all the time you need. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I'm just fucking with you guys. Awesome. Uh, I want the fourth one. <laughs> How do you know that one isn't just your soul? Here's a translation. So what we see are appetizers. Pickled vine blight salad, pan-fried myconid cap with garlic butter, spicy shredded sturge sliders. Main dishes are broiled quippers served in a port reduction, roasted werebore seasoned liber liberally with pepper and paprika, twice battered axe beak strips with a branded plum sauce, deep fried miniature giant space hamsters seasoned to perfection with rosemary, basil, thyme, and tears. Uh, it's definitely a Baldur's Gate reference. Uh, mm -hmm. sure desserts is. include candied phase spider eyes and a raspberry liqueur reduction. Sweet apple tart with a Celestial Caramel Drizzle, Rare Miniature Stench Cow Cheese Selection, and coffee and tea. Coffee or tea. What do you think we get with a standard meal? Just one entree? One you, of you each? You pick one, one entree and one appetizer and one dessert. Oh my god, it's a feast. Well, I mean, I, I think it's pretty much a no-brainer. No Obviously, the Mike the and it, uh appetizer is the way to go the main dish is the fourth one is not the answer i'm not saying it's the <laughs> quippers um the space hamster or the werebore are my choices i've and always wanted dessert, to try hamsters I think that would really go with the stench cow cheese really wrap it nicely together jerry I, flags one of the waiters and he's just like 
Yes, how sir. big? How big is your giant space hamster? <laughs> your miniature giant space hamster. Uh, sir, it's uh, if if you don't mind me being so blunt, uh, I'm not so good with words, but I will sh- just show you. It's about about a foot and a half long, and hmm. we we fatten them up uh, before we eat them, of course. Thank you. So you're beautiful. very welcome. What do you sir. what do you fatten them up with? Uh, we feed them other space hamsters. <laughs> That's how you as, make them taste. As That's hamsters true. are wont to do, they cannibalize each other in certain circumstances. <laughs> we encourage that. <laughs> beautiful, love it. Um, I only have a problem with this cow cheese. I don't know if that's the way to go. Well, the caramel drizzle sounds nice. I've never had a phase spider eye, but... Uh, we could have, like, a whole spider person. space thing going on between the main dish and the dessert. You do have a point. I, I am willing to, to concede and try something new uh, for, the, for the purpose of a themed meal. It's important. Well, I guess that... Uh, I guess that... Unless anybody else has any objections to the space hamster. I definitely the, want the space hamster. My canids. Or do the, we, all, we all have to get the same thing? Well, we we're can sharing, sharing one meal. Sharing. Uh, Unless you have a wealth of soul coins or you would like to trade in your own soul for a meal and a spa treatment, you would get at that point. No, that's okay. <laughs> but I would. I, I do think we should come back and like check out the shops after we get paid from the Dow. Yeah, that's a smart move. We can even check out the shops to know if we want to come back. Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, let's uh, place our order. Oh, coffee or tea. Does anybody care? I don't. I love them both. Well, is it the... Can we get that in addition to a dessert, or are we choosing that in lieu of a dessert? I don't know. It is not capitalized on the menu, (laughs) so I don't think it's its own section. Exactly. See, that's my concern, and we're in hell. I'm not forfeiting forfeiting my soul for. Jerry company. just asked the waiter, "Hey, does the coffee and tea count as as dessert, or do we have to substitute?" Uh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. It is very good coffee mm. or tea, though, sir. Thank you. You speak very eloquently. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I have been working here for over 167 years, so you should have heard me when I first started, when I first lost my soul. So. It was quite a mess. Please help me. Right. Did, <laughs> did you lose your soul because you did. ate something off the menu without paying for it? Yes, I attempted to dine and ditch. and uh, Can't be doing that, man. That'll send you straight to hell. Well, he yeah, was I, hell. I was already in hell, but I... Uh, did you dine and ditch to get down here? No, I got down here and then dined and ditched. Here, oh, there's, there's worse places. Uh, to I was be wondering working. if it was a reoccurring theme in your life. Oh, I had done it many times. I was oh, quite see? accomplished at it. Oh. Well, well, you know the menu really well. So now that yes. you you're here and you already lost your soul, does that mean you can dine without paying a soul coin? Uh, no, we're fed uh, leftovers. But what were to happen if you stole a meal? I'd be tortured for a few centuries. Oh, that sounds... Perhaps worse. Is, I'm assuming Lulu's sitting next to us. Yeah, and she's she's uh, eaten about half of the samples. <laughs> and she's going, these are really good, guys. I don't... We could... Anything you guys want, I'm, I'm, I'm good for. You know, I'm a hottie. He's really cool, really nice guy. I think he helped me. Uh, gave me a place to stay here, I think. My memory serves me. It, it doesn't serve me very memory. well, but oh, I think we should place our order so we can speak to Lulu in private. All right, Mahadi comes back and says, "I made a mistake. Uh, I forgot to also mention and this is very important, oh, and boy. I am very very sorry. I forgot this. I was I saw my friend Lulu and I lost sense of things for a moment, but." Uh, all are welcome here. There's no fighting, no spell casting, and no exceptions. That's the main rule. 
and what if someone attacks us they will be punished severely okay I think so, we can trust the authority of this place. As I nod to Mahadi. And would you like to place your order now? Why well, yes. we would love to. We'll be starting with the Mykonid, uh, Mykonid caps, I believe, with the garlic Fantastic butter. choice. Uh, we will follow that with the deep fried miniature space hamster, of course. How could you pass Excellent. that? Excellent. It's, it's in special. season. Oh, even Brilliant. better. And uh, we're going to follow that theme with the candied face biter eyes. Okay, okay. They have quite a explosive taste to them. Candy. You will enjoy them. They're great. And will there be anything else, or will it just be the one meal? Just, just the one the meal one. to share, please. Okay. Five forks, if you will. You're always welcome to come back here anytime. Uh... If you are a preferred customer, and he hands you a a uh, gold plated card, and it's got like punch holes in it, and he punches one out, and he says, uh, "Once you've dined with us ten times, you can come to the Emporium and the Infernal Rapture at will." Oh, from anywhere. How pleasant. Might I add, if you are looking for a independent, neutral space to meet people you would like to meet at a neutral space, this is also quite a fine place to do so. As again, we hold the rules I mentioned previously, the highest regard. So wait, no, to, to no make good. sure I understand that, once we get four stamps on our stamp card, Ten. we... Oh, 10 stamp center stamp card. One of us can or all of us can come here at will? Oh, it's just each of you would need to have a card. Uh, it it transports you, just one person. As many okay. times as we want forever. Oh, well, the yes, it's, uh, Unless I revoke, unless you start a fight or oh, you break no. a contract, uh, we'll oh, have bigger problems. Wouldn't dream. <laughs> we, we did, that's just crazy. <laughs> Of I course, accept, of course. I accept the card from him and, like, flip it down and slide it into my pouch. It's but, very oh, thick oh. and impressive and heavy. M Mahadi, would you uh, like to join us for our meal? I'm sorry I am unable to join for your meal, although I will check in on you uh, in a little bit. Uh, running this place requires most of my attention as... Unfortunately, the help here can, how do I put it, um, grow lazy unless the proverbial whip is cracked. <laughs> Noted. If you um, ever is it have proverbial? Any... <laughs> <laughs> no, if, no, it's not. If you ever have any, uh, a spare moment, I think it, if you knew Lulu in the past you may be able to help us jog some of her memory you guys seemed cordial yes uh, Lulu arrived and I sheltered her here uh, I was so surprised to see her for a while uh, and she um, she had said when she arrived that she became lost here and that's about all I know um, how long was she here for if you don't mind me asking Decent amount of time. You know, time here is a little yeah. wonky, but eventually she left, and uh, I lost track of her. Uh, but she was quite nice when she was here, and uh, as she is now. She is lovely. Thank you so much. You're nice too, Mahadi. And um, Lulu goes... Guys, you sure we don't want to just use our soul coins and just have a spa day? I don't think that's a good idea. I, I want to. But I don't think we should. Rollercoast, have you seen how matted your fur looks? Yes. Every moment of every day, I see it. I thought I saw something crawling in it the other day. Oh, Luke, you're supposed to tell me these things. And I just start, like, <laughs> searching, looking <laughs> through my fur. Uh, Maybe uh, and, Ollie could uh, 
help you with that. Do you know? Do you have an in- infinite amount of soul <laughs> coins that we don't know about, Lulu? No, I just it feels like we're pretty good at getting them, and I don't. Quite frankly, I don't like having them around. They're pretty evil. Uh, maybe we'll talk about it after we do our okay. Our job. I- I'll that follow you guys. You guys are my friends. Thanks, Lulu. And uh, Mahadi goes, if there's anything else, please let me know. Otherwise, I will be back in a while. Thank you, sir. He leaves. And you guys have your meal. And it is incredibly delicious. And doesn't taste like the junk you've been... The perfectly normal rations that tasted fine before you came to hell and then instantly spoiled... And everything you've tasted from here on has been terrible. This actually tastes fantastic. Fantastic. And um, since I am a benevolent DM and I want to help, typically one meal would give you the benefits of a hero's feast. Uh, But since you guys are splitting it, I'll let y'all decide. We can do this randomly, or you 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 guys can decide uh, who would like the benefit of a hero's feast. I say leave it up to the dice. Okay. Let the dice gods choose. I missed um, what the decision. What does what a hero's I feast do? The dice. Hero's feast. It does a bunch of good stuff, Jerry. We bring forth a great Pen- feast, including magnificent food and drink. The feast takes one hour to consume and disappears at the end. Has the beneficial effects. Benefits. A uh, creature partakes the several benefits. The creature is cured of all diseases and poison, becomes immune to poison, and brain, and being frightened, and makes all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Its hit point maximum also increases by 2d10 and gains the same number of hit points. These benefits last for 24 hours. Uh, I'm going to take Jerry out of that, because that doesn't seem to help Jerry as much. So it would help you guys. I need something that gets rid of my two points of exhaustion, and this is not it. Sleep. So Jerry, Brian, Jerry would benefit from the wisdom saving throw thing, but other than that, it's not that much. Um, well, anybody wh- would benefit from extra HP. I say leave it to the dice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The dice are best. Assign yeah, so, us each a number, Jake, and roll it. Yeah. Okay. Brian, you know what's going on. I know you asked a question, but I didn't answer it. I heard it was Heroes Feast, and all I heard was Roz say, "I want to leave it up to the dice," and that it was a vote. So I said, okay. "I would also leave it up to the dice." All each. I see each, a each meal. Each meal gives the benefit of a hero's feast, but since I'm a benevolent DM, I am saying well, I'll give it to one of you since you're splitting it. One of us has of that of you. one bite that was perfect in the center that gives <laughs> exactly. the benefit. Exactly. Jerry's uh, crying as he's eating. He's quietly <laughs> crying, and it's like the tears are going into his mouth. Congratulations, Jarvis. Ooh. You did it. I get two, you, 2d10. Do I roll that? Or you, you roll really that? don't need this orb. You want me to roll it? Sure. <laughs> you didn't, but I'm gonna do it. Well, you 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 should be happy I did, cause I rolled the 14. I'm cool with that. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, you enjoy your meal. And is there anything you want to talk to Lulu about, Rollercoast, or good? Um, I'm just gonna ask her if. It's jogged anything seeing this Mahadi guy. There's any more memory coming back? No, not quite. I know he was super nice to me and helped me when I was confused, but <sighs> no, no. Okay. Well, About it was this worth time, Mahadi comes back and uh, says, uh, "I also uh, do have some." I'm making a assumption here, and please forgive me if it's not true, but uh, why else would you be in hell? Uh, I'm assuming you all are adventurers, correct? You would assume, right? Yes, sir. I can uh, offer some rather impressive gifts in exchange for a soul contract. If you would like to hear me out, uh, I can... Let you know what those are if you j- may not be interested, but just might be nice in the future if you need it. Mm, let's hear it. I'd like to know. 
So I can bestow upon you a gift from Asmodeus himself. It is called a Rod of Lordly Might. And you will receive this, and you only will be able to attune to it along with your direct descendants. A Rod of Lordly Might. Someone who's looking it up want to give us the the overview of it? I would love to. It's a plus three weapon, which is pretty amazing. It's a rod. Um, it has six buttons. Each one you can push it, or you can push them as a bonus action. You can push one of them as a bonus action. Um, and the you effect will last. Okay. Yeah, the effect will last as long as the button is pushed, or until you push a different one. You can make it into a flame tongue sword, which is a fiery sword. <clears throat> you can make it into a uh, axe, two crescent-shaped blades, um, just a plus three axe. You can turn it into a spear, a six-foot spear with a plus three. A climbing pole up to 50 feet long, as you specify. Wow. Um, it serves... holds 4,000 pounds. Yes, thank you. That's very, very strong. A battering ram, which gives you a plus ten, 10 bonus to strength checks made to break through doors, barricades, and other barriers. Um, or there's a normal form, and it indicates magnetic north, because that exists in hell. In addition to these things, it has a draining life effect when you hit <laughs> things with it. Holy shit, this is incredible. <laughs> um, is it a two-handed or one-hander? Uh, I believe a rod is one-handed, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it depends on what you turn it into. Spears are two-handed. Is the flame? Is the sword one or two-handed? That would be a long be sword. Either. Long so sword, okay. okay. Um, in addition to the drain life, there's also a paralyzing effect. Uh, so you can either force it to make a constitution save against necrotic damage that you drain life, or a strength save against paralysis, or you can try to terrify it. Uh, just when you're holding it, you use an action to do a wisdom save to terrify a creature. Holy crap, you guys. <laughs> it's really Man, cool, but it doesn't It feels like Kairos is back. <laughs> oh, no, this, is, this is... Ollie's very enticed. And uh, Mahadi continues and goes, as well, for a soul contra contract, Asmodeus will send one of his loyal priests to cast true resurrection on a deceased person, I assume would be your friend or some someone, anyone. Or, and finally, Asmodeus can transfer transform one of you into a tiefling with direct infernal bloodline to him directly. What does that do for you? You would gain the benefits of being a direct descendant of Asmodeus, of course, which means mechanically that you would just be a subrace tiefling of Asmodeus and gain those traits. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> and that is what I can offer. Some and interesting what, what stuff. What exactly yeah. does the soul contract entail? How the much so of one's soul are we talking here? Oh, the entirety, of course. The soul contract uh, would entail that a character would give up their soul forever after signing the character, this meta knowledge, uh, when you reach 17th level, if at any point you die thereafter, their death is permanent and with no chance to return from the grave. As Modius takes their soul and makes them a pit fiend in service in his service for eternity. Sure, sure, sure. Reasonable. Uh, as Modius, uh, Vlad wouldn't be happy about that. I'm gonna have to pass. Plus, I only have guys. We could resurrect Kairos. Haven't we already had this offer, though, of giving up our soul to resurrect Kairos, and we passed? Did you? I think uh, Kairos, only had, the Kairos offer. had that. Yeah. Oh, I thought Mag Ma Mad Maggie gave us the offer, and everybody thought like we we're like, oh, I guess you guys didn't like Kairos that much because nobody gave oh, up yeah, their soul for it. That did also happen. Just throwing it out there. The rod <laughs> sounds super sick. Um, doesn't help oh, me at all. But if somebody else wants to so take nice. it. Is there anything else that I can do to get that rod? 
<laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Good one, Jerry. Mahadi oh, says. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mahadi. High five. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you a high five. Nice. Uh, and uh, Mahadi says, oh, no, unfortunately not. But if you change um, your mind, I'll be here. We wander around as things go. I'm sure Red Ruth can track us down or... I feel like Anybody my character, there. Jerry, would choose to, like, bring Kairos back. But I, I know that Brian is pretty happy with his new character, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you can bring him back to be an NPC in hell. That's, it's just, and, just Jake's at that point. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Then he just walks over to a random st uh, stand uh, and grabs a random magical item and gets cursed and dies. <laughs> <laughs> that was the life of that Identify! <laughs> I would kill. Well, I, I am, I'm going to try to get... I have to get prior approval for this deal. Because, uh, again... Uh, 80 85 percent of my soul is all i have to give right now so if i can get that approved uh, yeah I'll i it. have i have a soul coin i'd be happy to chip in oh jerry i need your soul jerry no i mean i'm i'm talking to to ollie no well i, I think i think he needs uh personal souls Unfortunately, I don't think Vlad is going to take a soul coin for uh, what I've given him. All right, man. I appreciate it, though. Thanks. How are you going to get the extra 20%? I, d I don't really know, uh, but I, that's, that's a nice rod. There's is there anything else I can help them? you gentlemen with? Uh just a I few think. more minutes to sit here before we leave of course of course and please check out the rest of the emporium on your way out ah certainly You've been a most gracious host mahadi thank you oh thank you i do try and please visit us again if i don't see you uh it was great meeting you and he uh bows and leaves leaves you to it i give another good stretch <laughs> on the pillows oh unfortunately gentlemen I believe we have to depart and uh the oh crap I mean we did say that we're sending Red Ruth here but we didn't exactly make uh, no it's fine we'll just send her we could talk to him on the way out I'm sure we'll <laughs> see him and it no, didn't really out. seem like you needed an appointment like we kind of just walked in here and ate right it did seem that way well, we, we didn't get any spa there. treatment though so, that's uh, true uh, so on your on your way out, uh, you see a forge area that's been converted from a looks like an old demon grinder, and you see three salamanders uh, working it along with a gaggle of mephits, little small tiny magma people, working around and bending and blacksmithing metal. Uh, you also see some animated arm armor carrying uh, large stacks of iron to be worked on. You, at another stand, you see a extremely cheerful woman, Kalashite woman, and she is currently giving someone a shave, a facial shave. And she's telling a story and laughing and giggling. And she seems like the nicest, just a genuinely happy, nice old woman. Uh, you also see at another stand a Amnizu, which is a rotund devil with tiny little wings, almost like Jabba the Hutt, kind of, but not as big and uh, has a bunch of imps flying around him with packages and uh, some are coming to the stand and some are leaving with packages or letters very quickly back and forth. 
seems like a delivery uh, service. You also see a human kind of mage with tentacles for arms, with the tentacles at the tip of each tentacle is a finger. Um, and he is uh, got some jars of various viscous different colored liquid um, that he is mixing and messing with. And then you also see a large old hobgoblin with an angry disposition who is caring for some larvae in cages, large larvae. And uh, yeah, that's the main the main drag of the Emporium, what you see. And so uh, you do see Mahadi talking to some people if you want to grab him again. Well, uh, Roly, if you could go talk to him, I've been looking for a forge since the day I got down here. I'm going to go talk to those uh, salamanders. You're muted. You're muted, Rob. I am muted. I will do that if you uh, check at the forge for me how much a like full plate set would go for down here. I'm <laughs> sure it's absurd, but... Noted. Full plate for you. One, one, one on the order. Got it. Yep. Probably a thousand percent of your soul. Yeah. All right. Um, let's do Relicos and Mahadi first. Mahadi turns to you and says, Hello. Mahadi. How can I help you? Uh, real quick, the whole reason we're here was to make an appointment for Ruth, and I don't know if we confirmed the appointment or just oh, wanted yes, it, to... It is confirmed. It is on the books for Red Ruth. We'll get her situated, and I appreciate you confirming uh, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, just, just make sure there's lots of red. She likes that. Of course, of course. Uh, what a perfect name for a perfect hag. Cool, thanks, man. You got sure. it. Can go check high out five. your shops. High five. It gives you a high five. Nice. Whap. Uh, okay, and to the salamanders, you go, Ollie. And a salamander is a large, that is a size, um, fiery snake person type of thing with two arms. And there's three of them. And uh, one of them goes, Hello, I'm Brash. And I work here with my brothers, Skids and Slags. How may I help you? Well, you look like you make uh, fine goods here. Tell me, do you make armor sized for smaller beings such as myself? Yes, I do. What type of armor do you look for? Uh, breastplate for myself is what I'm eyeing. And uh, I was also curious, if you were to make a full plate for a cat-like folk like myself, uh, what that would run us? And the a breastplate's 400 gold normally, correct? That sounds right. Uh, check on the full plate for me, Relicos, how much that is. Or who, who wants the full plate? Yeah, <laughs> that one I know. <laughs> Yep. Uh, is in the breastplate, I believe it's 400, and they say, Well, how are you paying for this? Uh, it depends on what payment you take. Well, we of course take soul coins, but we also take material currency. I'm a little light on the soul coins, though. That won't be for long, so I'd love to hear your prices in that currency. Uh, but if we were paying gold... Gold for a breastplate would be about 600 gold or gems worth. A full plate set would be 2,000 gold or gems. Soul coins a breastplate will cost... Since we have a stock of breastplates, it will be four soul coins. And for a full plate, it will be 20 soul coins. Ooh. Uh, 
steep bill, but I'm sure the I'm sure the goods are quality and, and worth it. A little light at the moment, but we're currently on the job, so uh, maybe we'll be back. Thank you for your time, Brash. Uh, is that your, you know. is that your war machine out there? Yes. It looks rather destroyed. What did you have an encounter with? Um, a big demon with a uh, huge teeth over out by the demon zapper. I don't know exactly what it was. Uh, uh, we killed it. So it's dead. It lost. But yeah, it, it took a big walloping charge at our uh, at our car. It's a little locked up, but we drove here. Okay. Enough. Its armor is quite damaged, though, and we do repair armor. In case you are interested, it is fifty gold pieces uh, per piece of armor, which amounts to one hit point. Fifty gold pieces per hit point restored. I'll uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, right now, we 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 someone do the math. Put a few uh, band aids on it. It's, it's over five thousand gold, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, think about put... owning a ship; it would be just as expensive. Yeah, totally. We we slapped some bandages on it. I patched a few of the you know, a few of the holes there. I, I think we're okay. I, I certainly will keep your services in mind. Thank you, Brash. Be very careful about hitting any medium to larger sized rocks I think that would do you in yes I agree but thank have you. a wonderful day you too sir walk back nope well either you can just go ahead and uh, forget those dreams just, just nope just nope no how what are we talking too much uh, let's see in your in your uh, you know, currency exchange somewhere around the ballpark of a thousand arrows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I've got like 80 of those, so I don't have anywhere near enough arrows to give the guy. I feel no. like it's more. And and really, that's only at a very preferable arrow to soul coin rate. Uh, that <laughs> at unfortunately, 50 arrows you were on the wrong coin, right? side of. Yeah, you you were on the wrong side of that trade as well. So I would doubt you'd get that exchange rate. I just wanted to put it in terms you might understand. Um, does he take item exchange? Also, does Ollie know about that scenario? Yes, certainly. I've heard about it by now. We've traveled <laughs> long enough, um, and. We would have ch chatted. Relicus and I are old buddies. Um, I mean, possibly I didn't really inquire because, frankly, I have nothing to give them. Except a this whole old bunch shitty of scimitar. stuff from our dead party member. Oh, well. You would uh, let's... sell? You mean yeah. dead party members, plural, right? I don't no, have the stuff the from the second one. No, second nobody, one. Nobody <laughs> looted the second one, and I didn't want to. We threw it all in the fire that way. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you have the bag, so I. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Yeah, let's I'm gonna go talk shit. to the. Okay, you approach, and a purple salamander addresses you and says, I am Slag. How can I help you? You know, I would have guessed you were Skids. You would have been wrong. <laughs> it's fair. Who's Skids? Anyway, this is my buddy Rollercoast. Rollercoast, this is uh, Slag. 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 Greetings. Greetings. Um, so, my friend was just here, and he was asking you about a full plate armor set. That was for me. He's asking my brother, but yes. Okay, he was asking your brother. Apologize. Easily confused. Um, do you guys take items in trade for goods? Of course. Oh, beautiful. What uh, do you have? For a full plate set, I have, and I pull out the Liar's Longsword. Mm -hmm. I'm using that currently. Oh, are you? Yeah, you already gave me that one. Oh, Whoops, a daisy. Okay. We do it's still have easy. something now. Yeah, I've got the <laughs> Heaven's at least Fall. One more thing. Yeah, there's yeah, that. I've got the Heaven's Fall Mace. Uh, I'd be interested in that. How much gold do you have? Uh, 
I was I was just looking to exchange one thing for the other. What kind of was that a rare or uncommon weapon the heavens fall? I believe it was uncommon. I don't remember. Right. I don't remember, uh, and I don't think I have that character. I believe. Is I it? Can I look that up in the equipment? It was a custom item, I think. Yeah, but I think you guys have access to my shit. And this fall is not in there. It's not okay. Uh, just look it up now. Yeah, it's not in there. Let me look. I might. Be, I might still have it in my notes. Okay. Separate from character sheets. Looking up, looking up, looking up the stuff. I can't see it. A rare mace. It is rare, he goes. I did write it down. I believe we can accommodate you there. Beautiful. How long would it take you to uh, size it to me? An hour. Wow, you guys are quick. Let's do it. We have plenty of people working here, and it helps to have magmins. It sounds like it does. Let's get so to So do it. we have a deal? Yeah, one Heaven's Fall Mace for one full plate set of armor. Hand it over. Takes it and then uh, motions for you to come over to the side of his cart and a uh, animated armor hands him some measuring tape and he starts taking measurements of you and grabs a, a, uh, a uh, set of full plate and uh, yeah, gets to work on it. And so after... The measurements have been taken. Uh, you guys are free for about an hour to do anything else you'd like if you'd like to talk to anyone else. Well, Coach, you got any more goodies in that bag? No, but since I had now have full plate, I can give you my breastplate. Oh, I'll take it. It should fit perfectly. <laughs> We're about the same size. Yeah. Is there anywhere here that I could find maybe spell scrolls? You want to ask Mahadi? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Mahadi says, maybe Eliok may have some spell scrolls or possibly Bernie. Check with them. And he points to Bernie, uh, the old woman, the cheerful old woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eliak is the tentacled mage. Cool. I'm going to start with uh, uh, Eliak, the tentacled mage. Okay. You go up to him, and he's busy with Icker of some kind. Doesn't even pay you mind. What do you say? Excuse me. Or what language? I guess, are they all, is everyone here speaking Abyssal, or are they all speaking Common here? You've heard a lot of common. You've heard all of it. And he's speaking common currently. He's not speaking to anyone, but yeah, you can try common. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Uh, I heard you're, uh, you're a mage, and I was wondering if uh, you had any scrolls that you might be selling. Uh, I do not have any scrolls. Do you have any other magical items of interest? I have Demon Icker. What is that? This indicates that his tentacles are waving in the air. <laughs> oh, it reads. Okay. You're doing fine. Yeah. What is uh, Demon Icker? Uh, Demon Icker has many great properties. If you're, It gave me these tentacles. Uh, other than giving you tentacles, what does it do? can put tentacles on your face. Right. It can put weird things on your face. Can it do anything useful? 
I just told you what it could do that's useful if you'd it's all relative my boy hmm thank you I don't think I'll be needing your demon -icker. I don't need tentacles okay and I go over to Bernie Bernie and Bernie is cleaning some of her instruments and she turns around and says how how can I help you oh hello I'm looking for uh, I'm in the interest of buying spell scrolls I was wondering any if you particular any... spell scrolls um um depending Bring on here for a shave what are you here for a shave also like like this kind of shave Yes. No, no. Or a haircut. No, no. I, 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 I like to let it just go. Thank you, okay. though. I, I'm looking for spell scrolls. Maybe, uh... I knew a person who just let it go. They ended up dying early, though. And, uh... They had quite the life. Lived only about 20 years. But just, uh, let everything go. And eventually it caught up to them. And they lost it one day. And just started going on a rampage because it just built up inside them. And what happened to them? They died. Can you die here? Oh, this was in a different place on the material plane. So did they make it here? That's a good question. I should check on that. <laughs> well, that sucks to be them, I guess. But, uh, I you think said I'll be you're fine. interested in spell scrolls. Yeah, I, I was, I'm, I have about. Do you trade in? Do you trade in gold? Of course, gold or soul coins. Not soul coins. Just kidding. I do not trade in soul coins. I will trade in gold gems and other magic items. So I have uh, about a hundred gold. Is there anything you can offer for me for that price? Oh well. Damn you, bro. Up. A wizard is the life of a wizard. Oh, come on, you bastard. You bastard. I'm looking up a, uh, a table. Uno momentum. Momentum. Yes, I said. Yeah, I said that correctly. Uh, not that. Not that. I do have a sleep spell. Would you be interested in a sleep spell? Such a fucking asshole. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Uh, I'm still pulling up the uh, table. It's okay. You're going to love my next question. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. There's Jeopardy in hell, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. But real, But one without Alec Trebek. Alec? 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 I was going to make a really bad joke, but then I remembered we were live streaming this. Uh, would it be at the expense of Alec Trebek? Senor Trebek? Yes. <laughs> and us would being in hell? <laughs> Would have been unfortunate. Here we go. This is what I wanted, I think. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, fuck. Just tell me what spell scroll you want. Oh, yeah. Um. A hundred gold will get you a first level spell. Is that what it would be? Okay. That's what I wasn't sure. I was wondering if I can get any third levels for that much. I figured I couldn't. I wanted to Is that all the gold you have? I have a hundred and well, out of game, I only have hundred thirty gold, but I need some for materials too. When I was oh. young, I had a hundred gold once. I was quite happy with it. Not anymore. Um, I just sat on it to be honest. Hoped it would grow. Do you have any other? Do you have any magical items here other than other than scrolls? 
Well, Any, anything you may be willing to trade for this wand I have. What kind of <laughs> wand is it? And I take out my um, wand of magic missile. <laughs> okay. It's funny that you gave it back to me accidentally, and I'm kind of over it. You're over it. Okay. Yeah. I haven't been using um, it. I've got a wand of detect traps. Would you be interested in that? I detected a trap once that nearly killed me. It was made specifically for me. But I just had a feeling right before I set it off that something was amiss. And I caught it. Um, can I insight check for it being about the same value? Is that... Uh, I don't know how I would... Like, I'm not make, getting ripped off. Make an arcana check. Fifteen? You're not. You you think you're not getting ripped off? Uh, yeah, I, I'll take. You that. also think she's very sincere and not, not like other characters around hell. Yeah, she seemed pretty nice. I just wanted to make sure because Gary doesn't even know the the equal cost. So, um, yeah, that that is anything else. This seems interesting. Well, I that's mostly what I have right now. Uh, I mostly do barbershop stuff. Are you not interested in getting that that mop cut? No. What about your friends? Uh, the cat might the the cat might could use some help. They did have. We can't hear. They did have some voice. matted. You fucking fur. shave me. We're gonna have an issue. <laughs> I look pristine. What? I press to digitate constantly. Why don't you well, press to digitate roller coasters? <laughs> I would never presume. Of course, I'll help you. Why is nice. your mic so low? Mine or his? Uh, Ollie. Okay. It was a little high. Now it's lower. Closer to my mouth. Um, yes, certainly. And I start just waving my hands and press the digitating i mean this feels very invasive i usually do this while licking my fur too it's honestly i'm starting to feel uncomfortable but you're a buddy i'll, I guess. I'll lick myself thank you <laughs> yeah no I'm, i wasn't going to do that just okay to be clear I just, it, it just feels weird that i'm pressed to, just, just, let's not talk <laughs> but i so with your um fur. jarvis you walk away no i'm gonna get i'm gonna trade yeah, you. Yeah, I just assumed. You oh, yeah, did. cool. Then I'm good. Yeah, that's all I want. Oh, Brian, uh, as soon you as you take, take as soon as you take three steps away, you totally forget uh, what just happened, who that was, and what you did. <laughs> Does he remember what? He, okay, no. You just have a weird wand in your hand now. <laughs> it's got weird carvings on it. It's got like a bear trap carved on it. Jarvis, you're like, you stop 10 feet away from us. This is an awful Jarvis, distance. come on! It's a cool wand. What does that do? Gary's confused. What's wrong, Gary? I'm confused at what just happened. So I must have missed something that I'm not remembering. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, oh, Gary. Oh, am I just stupid and In I fact, just got ripped the hell you off? you described it very perfectly. No. For Why do you think you got ripped? Wait, what? You know what? Just roleplay what you're currently feeling, because it's very <laughs> accurate. Thank just, you. Just lean into it. I'm so confused right now. Good. That you, is what you should. You and Jarvis would be. <laughs> wow. I want to help, but also I don't. <laughs> what did I miss? Everything and nothing. Gary, Jarvis does not remember anything that just happened with this person. It's tread still. Anything that was said. Their name or whatever, anything that happened. Oh, okay. Go. Got now it. You're caught up. Got now it. You know what happened. Okay. Okay. I thought... The word treadstone. <laughs> but I. Like okay. Bell. Got it. Okay. So I've... now that we've carried you for five feet, Black Briar. Um, just kind of like two of us on either side of you, just kind of. What's wrong with Jarvis? I did. Oh, I don't know. Jarvis. Just, I saw him talking to that lady. He pulled a Lulu. So I just have this one in my hand, and I have no idea how I got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, did, did we witness him do the trade? 
Uh, I assume you guys were doing other stuff since you wouldn't. Like, what is the last that, thing that I remember been during the hour? Okay. Is the last thing I remember? Do I remember going there? Like, uh, you remember to go there? just wanting to go there? Yeah. I was, I was I was just talking to Elik about spell scrolls, and then I was gonna go ask that woman over there for spell scrolls, and I had my wand of magic, my 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 wand earlier, but my wand looks different now. I don't, I don't understand. Well, you, you know that's not a scroll, right? I, you came from that direction. Yeah. Did, did you go see her? I don't. It? And I checked my Whatever. pocket, and I don't have any. Lulu says, "Yeah, he scrolls. went there. I saw him." I have no new scrolls. But. What's the wand do? It looks not like a regular stick. I don't know. You can infer from the carvings on it, similar to how you inferred from the magic missile one, that it. Has something to do with traps. Okay, without doing an identify on it? Correct. Cool. I guess it helps me find traps. I and don't know how I... Where did my other wand go? Checks my money. I have... I didn't spend anything. Maybe someone turned your wand into something else. We're in hell. Weird shit happens all the time. I, I guess. I mean... This seems cool. It seems useful. I just... I don't know. Weird. Well, let's hope it's not cursed. Muted rollercoast. Yep, saw that. You don't seem to be robbed or anything. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I, I guess I would have been okay parting with my other wand, so... I guess it's for the better. Excellent. All right, well, should we head back to Ruth to tell her the appointment is made? Yeah, how did your guys' uh, so. shopping go? I'm now oh. in full plate armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and I'm wearing his old breastplate. Wait a minute. I don't remember that either. You weren't wearing that earlier. No, I wasn't. I went you knew he was right getting fitted for it. <laughs> yeah. oh, so he just well, wears I, that I all the time. I would have gone now. off before that, so maybe not. I was just playing the confused character. <laughs> Yeah, I went over there and bought it. Oh, okay. It didn't just appear on you like like this wand no, did. I have full recollection of how I got my armor. But and and you're wearing his armor. Yeah, it fits what? nicely. Oh. You're very observant. Okay. Well, I mean, I thought I don't know how I got this, so I don't know, man. Do you want to wear a chain shirt? As mm, long as we're changing me clothes. Me and armor don't get along. I don't like armor. Could could we fit it to Lulu? What? The chainmail armor. Can we you have wear, it fit in? You want to wear a chain shirt, Lula? You can get a little chain cat. It does have a coil. That would be cute. Yeah, I think it would suit. I don't, I don't know. How if much it would, would it cost? I there don't have anything. Only one way to find out, Lulu. Let's head back over to the armor guys real quick. <laughs> okay. Lulu, come with me. A pink-colored <laughs> salamander comes up and says. Still less than halfway through to send into a room. <laughs> hey, Skid. Skids. Hey, Skids. Uh, Hi. Quick question for you. Uh, we have this chainmail armor. Yes. How much would it cost to fit this to the elephant? I'm a holophant. Holophant. My apologies, Lily. It's like me. It's like me calling you a house cat. Yeah, no, but very insulting. I agree. I apologize greatly. To fit it to the elephant, seven hundred gold. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Ollie, you got any money on you? I stride over and be like, "No, you old house cat. I don't have any money on me." <laughs> Oh, um, so. let, let me go confer with the rest of my group. See if I can round that up real quick. I have most of it. I just need a little Certainly. bit more. Be right back. Just kidding. I do have a little bit of gold, but honestly, it's not that much. <laughs> I've got 570. Nice. You're doing a lot better than me. I got <laughs> Jerry has never bought anything, so I have like 1,200. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew you, I knew you guys had a shit ton of gold because... Yeah, I just knew it. 
<laughs> I think someone picked up the gold off of Kairos. Uh, Did, is it? Is I that didn't put inventory? anything. Unless you put it Not in there my, for me or told told me to do it, I didn't. My my characters have died several times. I'm on starting gold. <laughs> yeah, your your money values aren't in this uh, for, in the bag that you gave me. Yes. And it's been deleted. Oh yeah, yeah, my character's gone. All right. Well, you oh. had them. Oh well. Red so cats you want me to contribute right. a couple hundred or something or? Yeah, if I give like five hundred, will you want to give two? Sure. And we'll get Lulu some For sick protection armor. Protection of Lulu. <laughs> she she she's, a, she's a plot device. She might just like leave us all of a sudden. <laughs> she almost got taken away from us, and we need that plot device. That's true. Uh, uh, chain shirt is AC thirteen plus Dex max two. As I don't even remember anything ever really. I don't think it'll benefit her. her. Oh, is she already above 15 AC? Yes. Okay. I won't make I don't it. Even, I only remember... Bold. I don't remember any time something attacked her or that she took damage. It's happened. It just hasn't <laughs> happened that often. Yeah. Well, half the fight she doesn't join. Yeah, I was going to say, how often is she in the initiative? Through. Listen, listen. I just I like your, how you're leaning in. Like, you're our, you're our subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I, Jerry, I do you need him. anything? I am your conscience. J- Jerry, do you need anything while we're here? They take gold here, and you, ha- you yeah, seem to have a How about you get a, a haircut? <laughs> oh yeah, Jerry, you are getting a little shaggy on top. A COVID hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just Why mean does everyone keep asking. The barber here cuts? looks super, slang. super friendly. It's orc slang. <laughs> It she okay. it just seems like I mean from afar she seems like someone you get along with really well. You can hear her chatting from here. No haircut for Jerry. Jerry, no. He's he's mostly bald. Mm. No, no nice shave for Jerry. You don't need Me. like any pieces of armor, a shield. You don't need anything else. You're good. I've got a shield, but I okay. rarely can use it because of raging. Oh, that's right. That's right. And the two-hander that mm-hmm. you use now. Well, head I back. Can... So, uh, we... okay. So I kept my 200 gold. All right. Yep. Jarvis, did you look for scrolls while you were here? Yeah, I checked with Elliot. I don't know if I asked Bernie, but I don't have enough. I, I don't have enough gold. I'm short. Since I'm not buying taller than me, uh, holophant armor, I'll kick I'll kick you four hundred gold if you get something that you can actually hurt somebody with. That's my stipulation. <laughs> do you want to hurt something, scroll, or do you want something to? Bend Jerry will you also up? kick in some gold for that. <laughs> wow, you guys are. I I thought I was trying to play a utility. This is the wizard most passive aggressive uh, gift I'm ever. A shitty wizard. <laughs> Jarvis is a, Jarvis is just like Don't take this the wrong <laughs> way, but like a lightning bolt or like a fireball would really be helpful. Go buy here. yourself a spine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's rough, guys. <laughs> but seriously, here's four hundred gold. Technically it's forty platinum. So can we not just go with him and just see how much the thing he's going to get is going to Yeah, cost. maybe maybe you guys should should come with me because I don't remember what happened last time. Yeah, let's go with him this time. I've got I've got 120 gold and I've got, you know, I've got enough materials for um however Jarvis would describe a third level spell in game. Okay. Sure. Let's uh go. you head over to to old Bernie and I'll be somewhere else. But we can cover that after. You're not going with him? Nope. Okay. Uh, the three of you, four of you, because uh, Lulu's going, uh, go over to Bernie and she goes, Hi, nice to meet you. Are these your friends? Yes, yes, they are. Um, I was here earlier, right? Uh, yeah. I remember wanting to come here, but I remember leaving with this wand. 
And yeah, we did great. But why don't why don't I remember? Oh, it's funny stories and such. You erased my memory? I didn't know such thing. So how come you can remember and I can't? Are you here for something? Would you like a haircut? Are you messing with me? Jarvis, no, I'm not. not. Jarvis. Would Everything. you like to hear a story Fuck. about messing with people? No, and I don't need a haircut. Um, maybe my friend here, this cat, might might want a haircut. I'm clean now. Oh, are you? Would okay. you like a nail trim? Anyone? No. Ooh, that... <laughs> I wonder if I could One goal. buy... One gold. I wonder if I could buy a scratching board down here or something. That would be lovely. I like don't just, have a scratching board. I'm no, sorry. Just like a two by four with but like a rug. Here. It can be made, I'm why sure. Don't you, if it's only a gold, why don't you get your nails cut? They're looking think, rather long. I think I'm gonna, since I don't have a scratching board. So you sit down on the barber's uh, chair, yep. deploy your claws. And she starts filing, starts telling you a story about how she once filed a king's claws, set of claws, and the servants mopping up all the residual claw dust and putting it in a cake that was baked for his greatest enemy. And uh, she never did find out if his greatest enemy got it but she thought it was a fun story and she enjoyed seeing it happen that's a great story she goes uh she goes is there anything else you'd like yeah i'm looking for uh i'm looking for spells um i came here earlier i thought but i don't remember do you have any maybe um spells maybe fireball I do have a fireball spell. How much How much would that run me? I believe that is a third level, correct? Correct. Um, how much could I get for this, uh, this ring here? I show him, <laughs> I show him the visible ring of invisibility. Oh man, this is it's great. It's so great. This fireball uh, spell scroll will be four hundred gold. Hey, Rollercoast, could I borrow three hundred gold? Is that all you need? Do you need more for materials and I've, such? I've already got the materials for it. Okay, sure. I give him thirty platinum. Cool. How Tent much is over? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how much for this ring? Oh, this ring? This is cursed. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why it would is, you oh. try to? Why would you try to sell me a cursed ring? You silly. Well, goof? it makes you invisible. No, it doesn't. It makes why you don't... invisible, but visible. It would be so presumptuous of me to to just think that you couldn't. You couldn't um, deal with the the curse. I mean, there's there's ways around the curse. Oh, cast, don't I know it? And she gets her, her her face really close to yours, and when you look in her eyes, you see her eyes are this dark brownish orange. And as she's getting close to you, her eyelids stay open, but interior eyelids slap shut and blink uh, vertically. And those lids are quite orange and quite shiny metallic. And she says, okay. What just happened to your eyes? <laughs> oh, you like my eye color? Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what, what just happened? You look blink twice. Oh, sometimes my eyes get dry. Okay. This place is really weird, man. Yeah, it's been a shit show for days now. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm good. I'm good. 
Okay, have a great day. Thank you. And I put my spell scroll in my pocket. Okay. As you take three steps away from her, Jerry and Jarvis don't remember a damn thing that just happened. <laughs> and Relicos, you're fine. I turn to them again. What the heck? What? I remember wanting to go there again to talk to, to Bernie, and now I'm back. Yeah, we just went in there. You Check your pocket. Where did this come from? You bought it. Fireball? Yep. Mm, do you, Jerry? Yeah? Do you, do you remember me buying that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we, we were here, and we were eating the, the, the space hamster, and then uh, what, and we just came here, right? We didn't do anything else. Yeah, I don't... Why do, why do you... All right, all right, all right. I see what's happening here. I don't know why you guys don't know or remember going in there, but there's something about that shop but that why... makes you forget things on the way out. But why do you remember? Because maybe it doesn't affect cats, man. We're super cool like that. Great That's... mental capabilities. Or it doesn't affect me either, Lulu says. Maybe it just doesn't affect animals. It's weird. We're animal people. Weird, we got man. special. Well, I guess I got things. I guess I got a scroll. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll learn go, it. Go learn this tonight before I go to sleep. Yeah, I gave you money for it, so Oh you're really? You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Three hundred gold I, I gave you. Where did all my... Oh, I have no more money. Yeah, we'll cut to uh, Ollie. <laughs> Ollie, what are you doing? I would like to go to the Amnisu that's running a package delivery service. Okay. Uh, you approach, and the Amnisu floats over and says, Hello, my name is Fet Allah. Hello, Fet. I assume you have a means of uh, sending packages to denizens of his modi of, of avernus uh of course i do how how much does it weigh how large is it well what well i have a ideally let's see what the weight here would be uh roughly 23 pound parcel monday okay. night i'm sad. some metal parcels That'll be two soul coins. I also do, in addition to delivery services, I also do notary as well as exchange for soul coins and gold. Good lord. Uh, what about just three pounds? Three pounds will be one soul coin. And uh, do you take gold? I do in uh, exchange... An exchange. Yes, basically yes. And so the uh, exchange is... In, in gold prices, then. Three pound parcel? Gold prices would be 300 gold pieces. Oh, that's expensive, too. Well, um, in that case, how about a note? I'm just sending a... Uh, just, a just a letter. Anything under five pounds is one soul coin. Got it. Or 300 gold. Mail service is expensive down here. Or if you would like to negotiate or trade, I am always open to that. Uh, certainly. Do you have any packages you need delivering uh, to Bell? I think we might run by him at some point. Uh, Zariel, but I can't guarantee delivery on that one. <laughs> Anything near the demon zapper, we might end up back by uh, Mad Maggie and Fort Knucklebones. Uh, you got any parcels? I could, I could take them along. I will deliver your note if you flip off Zariel to her face. Oh, deal. I'll give her a double whammy. This is a binding contract. <laughs> I fully understand. Okay. Excellent. Where's your note? Oh, let me uh, write it out real quick. And um, I write out a note that I'll have to modify slightly because I'm not sending the things that I thought I was going to be sending with it. Okay. Um, but I'm sending it to uh, Vladimir Coronova the third. Okay. 
And uh, right at the end of it, I take my sword and I uh, cut the back of my hand because nobody cuts the front of your hand. That's stupid. Um, it's infuriating. Cut the back of my hand and I just like smear like a huge swath of my blood across the paper. Um, it's referenced in the note. Okay. And All I right. uh, send that to Vlad. And he takes it and hands it to an imp. And the imp goes flying away. Perfect. Make sure she sees the middle fingers. Oh, she'll see it. I kind of want to do that anyway, so I'm super into this deal. Excellent. Anything else? Uh, No, Fett. That that would be all. Thank you so much for your service, and I can't wait to provide my own. Excellent. Thank you so much. And... We'll pick up next week. That was a shopping episode and a half. Woo! Awesome. Cool. It needed to be done. It did. It did. Finally uh, got my breastplate. So does yeah. Rollercoast just wear Roll full armor breast, all the time now? Uh, I have to take it that. off to sleep. Okay. I'm a cleric now, so I can wear full plate. That's where you... Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yep. And we'll pick it up next week, Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific, same time, same place. I'm Jake, the Dungeon Master. And anybody want to plug anything? No, I'm good. I haven't been streaming lately. I've been streaming. And you can find out when on my Twitch, or excuse me, on my Twitter, at Jake Friday. Uh, I've been doing weird streams, like just to get me to stay productive during these corona times so is it on this twitch channel no it's on uh and it's either what the intero bang or what intero i think it's what the intero bang i just forget so that's why i say the twitter thing um but i streamed just standing in line in the last of us while i did other things in real life so um yeah if you want to yell at me or something you can do that Cool. Believe it or not, four people watched me at this one time virtually queuing. It was really fucking weird. <laughs> the Russian bot. I don't know. It could be, but they were talking in chat, so I don't know. <laughs> it was four friends like, look at this guy <laughs> standing in line. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was like it was like, what are you doing? And that was they were just trying to figure out what I was doing. Um anyways. Uh next week. All right, guys, leave it there. Gary, you ready? Mm hmm. Cool. Be excellent to others. Be excellent to yourself. We'll see you later. <laughs>